We gathered together in the shade of the old oak tree that stood sentinel over the neatly placed markers that signified the lives of ten or twelve souls whose earthly remains were interred beneath its shadows. We read, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. From 1 Corinthians 15, 58. We joined hands together and we sang together. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsel, God uphold you. With his sheep securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again. Ah, many had labored hard for many years in God's vineyard. It was time to say goodbye and consign her to that sacred place of memory that occupies such precious real estate in every person's heart. Her soul was safe. She had committed that decades before to the care of a redeeming Savior. Her body, beyond our care, we committed to the earth. I opened her well-worn Bible to a passage that she loved. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. Thoughts of her unsung heroism from one person to the next were passed with memories of kind words and deeds, encouraging notes, and humble service. Many had achieved neither fame nor fortune in this life. She'd written no books, created no fine art, nor founded any great institutions. She had simply loved those who came across her path and lived a life of quiet devotion to God and to others. This was her life's work. This was her great contribution. And even now, it was bearing fruit in the lives of those who would carry forth her legacy from this place. God loses nothing. God wastes no effort, no labor, and no Tears. Not one moment of our lives is misplaced or discarded. We who honored many that day were reminded by her example to be steadfast, consistent, and abounding in God's love and in God's work. Many's labor in the Lord was not in vain, nor is yours nor is mine.